Hi, this is Matt Garrett and welcome back to the Niche Secrets tutorial videos. This is video number four and what we're going to look at is how to check that there is enough search volume for a keyword to make sure it's worth going after. If there aren't enough people searching for that keyword, then we're never going to be able to get enough traffic to make a profit, so it's not going to be worth our time and effort to build a site around that keyword. So that's what we need to check first and let's head across to Google to do so. Okay, so here we are on a Google site you might not, might not have seen before. It's called the Google Traffic Estimator, and it's googletrafficestimator.com. It's worth book linking or bookmarking this site um, because we're going to come back to it in the next video as well as using it in this video. There's some very useful sites linked to from here. In this video, we're just going to be using the Google Keyword Tool. In the next one, we're also going to be using the Google Traffic Estimator and down the bottom here, the Google Trends Timeline. So we're going to use all three of these. So googletrafficestimator.com, bookmark it, as it's the perfect place to start when we're doing keyword research. Okay, one thing you will notice on here is some of the links have a line through them. In fact, pretty much all of them do. Now that's to show that they are no follow links. The reason they're coming up with that line through them is I've actually got a plugin that I'm using that you should get hold of, that you need to get hold of really to do this. Uh, the plugin is from seoquake.com. So go to seoquake.com and download that for your browser. Now it works with Google Chrome, which is what I'm using here. It also works with Firefox, Opera and Safari. It doesn't work with Microsoft Internet Explorer. So if you're using that, you need to get hold of either Google Chrome or Firefox, one or the other, so that you can actually use this plugin because it is very, very important for doing our analysis on the competition and the backlinks and things like this when we actually dig into how competitive a keyword is and how good the sites are that are already ranking for it. In other words, whether we can compete. So go to seoquake.com and download it, make sure you're using Firefox or Google Chrome. You can actually see an example in the picture here of what the plugin does. Basically, when you do a search, it will insert an extra line of information with some extra data for each of the results within the search engine. And you can see here it's actually inserted it on this page. It will do this for every site that you visit. So straight away, you can see the page rank for the site or the page, the number of pages indexed in Google, the number of links in Yahoo to this page and to the domain, uh, the number of pages indexed in Bing, the Alexa rank, the age of the domain. So lots of extra information, all of which is very useful when we come to actually analyze a competition for a particular keyword. Okay, let's go back to the Google Traffic Estimator site. Okay, so let's click on the link for the Google Keyword Tool. I'm actually going to open it in a new tab and we'll go across to that. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do here is actually pop in one of our keywords to have a look and get an estimate of the traffic. So I can go back to my keyword list. Now, before I actually start doing that, one of the things that I highly recommend you do is record all your data. Obviously, we've got this text pad with our brainstormed keyword ideas in there, but it's going to be useful to record a bit more data for each of them. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of that and copy it, and then I'm going to go across to a spreadsheet that I've got set up. I'm simply going to paste all the all of those keywords, all those keyword ideas into this spreadsheet. Now I've got several different pages that I use within the spreadsheet for recording data. The first one is the list of keyword ideas. So this is just all the ideas that we came up with during our brainstorming process. So you'll see at the bottom here it says ideas. You'll see there's also two more pages, one's called N1 and one's called N2. You'll actually end up with lots and lots of this. Obviously, I'm actually starting with a fresh spreadsheet here, um, but over time this would build up with many, many different pages. And these are the pages for an individual niche. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that first keyword, get rid of acne, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it into this new page at the top there we go. Okay, let's go back to the ideas page to start off with. At the keywords ideas level, all I'm going to record data-wise is the number of searches, the trend, which I'll show you how to get that information, the average or the rough CPC value, 
and we'll probably also record the, the competition, as it were, the number of pages, results. Uh, that I will show you more about because I don't think that's particularly relevant, um, but I'll still record it just uh, as an idea. The second page here, the, well, the first niche page, N1 is for this particular first niche, N2 is for the next niche, etc. What I'd probably do is rename that as get rid of acne or just acne so I know what each page actually is. So N2 would probably be the next on the list, fleas or myopia or baldness, whatever I choose as the next niche to work with. And within a niche, I record different information. Some of it's the same, but there's extra information going on here. First of all, the searches, and again, the competition, although it's not that relevant, I will keep a record of that. Then the average page rank, and that's the average page rank for the top five results. I'll cover this in more detail when we actually go through the competition and how to analyze it in that video. Um, so I won't cover all this at the moment, but it is things like backlinks for the domain, backlinks for the page, uh, and information like that that helps us make a decision as to whether we can compete for this particular niche or keyword. Now the rest of the keywords that we will build up here will all be related to the acne niche. So there'll be variations on acne, get rid of acne, how to cure acne, acne treatment, things like this that are suggested to us by the Google keyword search, which is why I wanted to show you this first. Obviously, it's important to record this sort of data, but it also makes sure that when we are actually going through and building out our niche, we can see exactly which keywords we want to target within the niche as a whole. Okay, so now we need to go back to the Google Keyword Tool, and I'm just going to paste it in our keyword. Now, this is a sort of a, a sub-keyword, a long-tail keyword, obviously, because it's got four words in there. Um, what I'm also going to do is add in the main keyword for the main niche, which is acne, obviously. So I've got both in there. I've got the overall main niche, as well as the potential individual keyword that I'm looking at. Now, there's a couple of other things that we want to do here on the settings. Okay, first of all, over here on the left, I'm going to untick the broad match and I want to just use exact match. Um, that's basically going to give us a much more accurate idea of the volume of searches for this keyword. Uh, there is a, a hover over here which will give you more information of what the differences are between those, but trust me, we will get better information using exact match than broad or phrase. Okay, the other thing is it's obviously defaulting to the UK because that's where I am. It's spotted my IP. Now I can click on cross next to that and it goes to locations all. But what you probably want to do is click on the advanced options and filters and specify where you want to do uh, the search for, where you want to check the traffic for. So I'm actually going to go from all, all countries and change it to United States because that's what I'm going to be aiming this site at most likely. Um, obviously you can do the same for UK, Japan, Germany, etc. Most of the main co countries are covered, uh, but let's stick with the US so that we know where we are on the traffic volume. Now there's also the option to tick this, which will only show ideas closely related to your search terms. Now I don't actually want to do that because it may, as I've not ticked it, it may come up with some great ideas on variations of acne that aren't actually acne, but are very, very similar, sort of more LSI related keywords. Uh, I will tick that later on when I'm actually looking at expanding the keywords into a niche as a whole, but for the moment I'm not going to. And if we scroll down the rest of the settings, I'll leave that as they are. But what I do need to do is type in the capture. Let's see if I can actually get this right. I do get this wrong quite often. Yeah, looks like I've got it right for once. Okay, we'll just wait until the search results have come up. And what we're going to do now is scroll down so I can actually look at these in a bit more detail. Okay, so the first thing we notice here that our keyword that we're looking at, get rid of acne, has 4,400 monthly local searches. That's the important figure, uh, and that's a good figure. Basically, anything less than a thousand probably isn't going to be worth going after unless it's a really good buying action style keyword. Um, generally, that's where I put the limit at around a thousand. If it's less, don't bother. Okay, but we can also see the main niche itself has 301,000 global, 60,000 local. So there's a lot of searches going on in the acne market. As you'd expect, it is a pretty healthy, active market. So we know there's enough search volume on our main keyword here that we're going to be able to get traffic. 
and we know that the niche itself has plenty of other keywords available, so there's lots of depth there and lots of choice, but it's a good enough keyword, there's enough traffic there to make it worth going on to the next stage and looking at the value of the keyword and other aspects as to whether we're gonna be able to compete. But what I do wanna do is check that number there, the 4,400 local searches. I wanna simply go back and pop that into my spreadsheet. Now I'll pop it into the niche page itself and I will pop it into the keywords page so that I've got both in there. Okay, so that's the end of video number four for the Niche Secrets tutorial videos, all about search volume and checking there is enough search volume for a keyword. Uh, keep an eye on your inbox tomorrow for the next email, which will give you the link to video number five, which is about checking the value for a keyword to make sure there is enough value to make it worth going after. Thanks very much for watching.